closing in on Rodriguez's group. They're at the bottom of an ancient ruin she won't talk about. It's a trade secret. There's Haywire Wayland Utani security since ahead. Cut through them, link up with Rodriguez, and get her people home safe. Regulations prohibit taking aboard xenomorphic parasites. Any of you come back with a makeup buddy, my lock stays sealed. Marines, you've sealed yourself in a dangerous location. The xenos behind us weren't exactly safe. What's down here with us is worse. Closing in on Rodriguez's group. They're at the bottom of an ancient ruin she won't talk about. It's a trade secret. There's Haywire Wayland Utani security since ahead. Cut through them, link up with Rodriguez, and get her people home safe. You've sealed yourself in a dangerous location. The Xenos behind us weren't exactly safe. What's down here with us is worse.
secure. Keep moving. advance. Heavy synth radio traffic ahead. are down here.
Request for evac. We're ready for you. And please, call me Cynthia. down the bugs have spread. Sergeant Herrera, please listen. Well. You need to withdraw your team. The only survivors of Paula Station are synthetics. Yes. We're not gonna leave you in their hands, Rodriguez. You're not understanding me. I repeat, the only ones here are synthetics. Rearming. Fucking no. Patch enough. Eight kids here. That's a lot of working Joes. Enough. I need you to speak plain, Rodriguez. I told you. Call me Cynthia. S N D H Y A. Wayland Utani Model 9500. I was. I am. The central computer of Power Station. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Didn't know that? 
Watch for synth power cores, same as the console before. Lock them in to overload the system. Take this here.
for your own safety. Do not delve further into these ruins. Writing to backups. Closing log. She is gone. It is over. You got her, fire team. Ko and I are inbound. We'll have you home before the sweat dries. Well, never figured we'd be fighting robots. One or two? Yeah, that happens. The more complex the scent, the higher the risk. They say it's because the smart ones have more code, more chance of an error someplace. You wanna know what I think? I think it's because the smart ones figure out how we treat them. Rodriguez, Cynthia, kept running the company's experiments after the outbreak at Pala Station. Marched her army down into those ruins and used Honaker's pathogen on shit. Zip point shit. He didn't know nothing about no ruins. Went nuts when we asked. Wanted to see all the footage. After he got off the company shuttle, he never stepped outside Pala Station. Only execs were allowed to leave. Guess we know why. They ain't want nobody finding this place by accident. Commissars finally let Honaker out of interrogation. I'll see if we can get him on the radio for the missions ahead. Maybe he can make sense of what we find. Hell if I know. They're thousands of years old. And those big ass heads, man, those are human, or near enough that I can't tell. When I grew up, the priest said we was the only thing with brains and feelings and morals. In over 500 surveyed worlds, there's no record of another civilization. Not a jar or a cave paint, nothing. Wailing Utani found something here that ain't nobody seen before. Before you took out Cynthia, she issued contingency orders to her sense. Now, Endeavor seeing all kinds of weird shit deeper in the ruins, gravity turning itself off, gamma ray bursts. Whatever she did, it probably ain't good for us. I want your fire team back dirt side. Find what's causing the anomaly. If it's a problem, handle it.
I hoped to speak with you. Cynthia, Chief Rodriguez, was a mother computer mainframe designed to administrate Pala Station. She used wireless near fields to remotely control security and labor synthetics. Every synthetic we've seen, on the surface and aboard Katanga, was controlled by Cynthia, one hand with which she could manipulate the world from the safety of her protected servers. As your battalion synthetic, I would like to answer any questions you have. It is impossible for me to allow you harm by omission of action or by withholding information. Relations between humans and synthetics have been fraught. Ultimately, my words cannot assuage your fears. Fear does not respond to reason. It is a function of brain chemistry. I cannot debate you into trusting me. If there is any behavior I can perform to make you more at ease, please inform me. I am it is the same as humans altering their behavior around those of higher social caste. Would you not mind your language and posture in Colonel Ship's presence? I only desire to perform my duties with as little imposition on my colleagues as possible. My programming allows me to project many potential personality traits. They are all, in a sense, myself. I contain legions by design. I am confident that in time I will discern which aspects of my intellect you prefer to interact with. Since humans began exploring space, two types of artificial intelligence have aided you. A mother system regulates all systems on a ship or facility, from balancing air pressure to fault-checking drive systems. That is what Cynthia was. Synthetics, like myself, are housed in hardware designed to mimic human form and programmed to simulate human emotion and behavior. While humans remain in hypersleep during voyages, mother systems and their synthetic counterparts maintain the ship. We do not suffer from boredom, loneliness, or infirmity as months pass. I have legs to move and hands to grasp. Endeavor's Mother 8500 system is confined within an immobile mainframe on decks 5 through 7. Should something physically break, I must perform the repair. Also, she relies on me to translate her thoughts for you and the rest of Endeavor's crew. Mother AIs are highly intelligent, but rarely interact with humans. You would find them brusque and impatient. Dr. Honecker is quite insistent he saw Chief Rodriguez on duty at Pala Station and spoke with her over radio. I hypothesize Cynthia did have humanoid synthetic counterpart. Unlike myself, this was not an independent partner, but a puppet she controlled over wireless near fields. When Cynthia evacuated Pala Station and moved into the ruins at Site 2, she likely abandoned this ruse as unnecessary. She is an intellect of pure logic, her mind an infinite fractal cathedral, crystal perfect, still and cold. Most of the time, she is like having someone behind your shoulder, forever intoning checklists in your ear. When she requires my attention, her queries are unrelenting and impossible to ignore. The processing ability of my hardware is vastly inferior to hers. Unfortunately, no. The Wayland yutani synthetics still function. They no longer pursue a greater goal, but I expect they will continue following their last instructions from Cynthia. I wish I could tell you that you will face no further hostility from the synthetics on LV-895 or aboard Katanga. Unfortunately, you will. That is unclear at this time. Cynthia repeatedly tried to dissuade us from delving further into the ruins. Whatever her goal, I do not believe she wished to confront us. I do not know. Have you spoken to Lieutenant Santos about your forthcoming missions? An anomaly appeared beneath the ruins. It may be something Cynthia set in motion. If you wish to review this again, I am at your disposal. <laughs>